The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room, and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Yellow, on the blue Got you, I got you, son, I got you, son. Mahomes now on first down. And this is caught by Watkins. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They'll run it for the first time to Williams. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. So just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And yeah, Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. They end up getting stuffed twice after that nine-yard gain back on first down. It's now fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Attack, attack. Here we go, fourth down, Mahomes. Rush coming, and he's taken down. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game, and the Niners take over in terrific field position. It's Coleman, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Run coverage, excellent there from the defensive end position. How many times do we sit with coaches and they talk about a base defensive end, a guy who can anchor and play with leverage? We just saw a great example of it. And how about the bonus, tackling the runner for a loss? Here we go. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now a give right side, Coleman. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and 10. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. The go, chance go, of go. wasting this great starting field position, 11, 11, a real 11, threat. 11. This is third and long. Two, two, two. Check, check 43. Check, 53 is mine. Check, 53 is mine. Man, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. There's Garoppolo to throw. <laughs> Able to haul it in as K. 
Kittle. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. here in this opening quarter. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence facing a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards Williams and he'll be brought down right around the 37 four yards the pickup first down they were not fooling around at all were they second and short and they brought out the heavy package almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense didn't it yeah i don't think they expected that much beef up front and it turned into an easy first down conversion line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. here's mahomes to throw forced out to his left and now he'll let this one go deep back over the middle that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The tight end, Blake Bell, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. They go play action. Now Mahomes escaping the pressure right. And now he's going to use his legs. The ball comes out. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. All right, let's be frank. You hate the fumble at the end of the play. But prior to that, I liked a lot of what was going on. Tucks it down, takes off, picks up good yardage. But in that portion of the field, that close to the sideline, step out. Yeah, either get down or get out of bounds. Take care of the ball. Yeah, he had the yards, but then the mistake. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches. The Chiefs, 36 After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. 
Here's Coleman. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes go, you just go. don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Check, check. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Right back to him on first down. And he'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time he hand the ball to a back. The last run got six. Now second and four. Inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! On first down, Coleman. They'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. Brings up second and seven at the nine-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! Three, Mike, Mike. I'm, I'm coming up to you. I'm coming up to you. On second and seven, Garoppolo. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. He's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have a... And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Tevin Coleman with his second touchdown here in this first half. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Now gold for the extra point. It's good to make it 14 nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26 yard line. The Chiefs offense are not set to begin this drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now Williams. 
A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position, now more than ever, is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. You can't block me. You can't block me. On the toss, here's Williams. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Niners have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Now here's Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An 11 yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. He's been the forgotten man in this first half. Not a guy you want to forget. Not only his first catch, first time they've targeted him. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Not because at all. those are the types of plays that he provides. When he does come alive, when they do look his way, not only is it a big catch, it's a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now a toss left side, it's Williams. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're gonna stop him behind the line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Throwing on second and 14, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the 49ers 27 yard line. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. On first down, Mahomes. This is caught. Watkins. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here we go, here we the go. San Francisco hey. offense ready to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Six Wait, yards hey, hey, hey. on that last play. Here's second and four. Rip, 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 rip. Kill, 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 kill. 
They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. it past the 50. 13 yards there and a Niner first. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. And hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. Inside the 30. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, 49ers. Tevin Coleman, 41 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, being on second half, no matter what, with his first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Gold with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. You better be afraid of me. You better. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. 
And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And attempted a deep ball there. They didn't get it. But, boy, they're going to need a few of those to actually hit in order to get back into this game. Good thing they do have a little bit of time here still left in the contest. Decent-sized deficit, but not one that they can't manage. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. On play action, it's Mahomes. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Nick Bosa. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there is just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out. Not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. They'll try a little trickery here on the end of round. I don't think anyone in the building fooled right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. It's a six-yard loss on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, and surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. from deep in their own territory. And this is caught. But he will not make the first down marker. That'll be a turnover on downs. Back now here in Santa Clara. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. Damian Wilson in on the stop. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Here we go, here we go. By 20! You, you, you! You, you, you! Man. They will run again with Coleman. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Here we go. 180! 53, Mike, Mike. Three buzz, three buzz. They'll run on first down. Coleman, and he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 180! Number 53, Mike 53! Come on. On second down, it's Coleman. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Brendan, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. 
You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Uh, right? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He had to run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays. Keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Coleman, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from the one. They'll run it with Coleman. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And that rushing touchdown is fourth. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's return for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal and never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling no again. you don't want that feeling again and who knows you may meet up with this team again they begin the drive with williams and they're able to swarm him behind the line and his rough night continues it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down he continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Yellow! I'm the Lily! 56! 
I got you. I got you. They run it again with Williams. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. And yet again, this run game just continues to be completely shut off. Completely stymied. I mean, they're trying to get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just haven't been there throughout this game. Facing the prospect of a punt from their own end zone, they need some cushion. Let's see what they can do on third down. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. They were already backed up. Now they're backed up further. I think they were being so careful to make sure all assignments were covered that they ended up running themselves out of time. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. They're inching closer and closer here to the wrong goal line. When you're backed up like that, all you're trying to do is make sure you don't give up a big play, right? You don't miss an assignment that really gets you into more trouble. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. 